Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the dead sticking technique. Now, this is very popular among bass fishermen, but it's very effective for redfish, also black drum, and trout. Now, what it is, is you cast the soft plastic out, you either cast it out or you just drop it down vertically, and you just let it sit there. You don't have to do anything. I like to use this technique if I'm working a top water on the surface. I might just cast out a gulp jerk shad and let it sit in the water along the edge of a grass line or in a pothole. Just let it sit there while you're working another lure and sometimes your rod will just take off. Those fish will find that lure and you'll have a hookup. Now the lures that I like to use the most are the gulp uh, series of baits just because they have that extra scent on them. The fish pick up on the scent when you just uh, let the lure sit there if you have any current or the wind's blowing the water, it's gonna disperse the scent of this lure and those fish are gonna hone in on it and eat it. So gulp is very effective for this technique. You can also use any soft plastic, put Procure or any type of uh, artificial scent on there and that'll help draw these fish in. Now, again, it's a very effective technique. However, if you are fishing tournaments, some tournaments actually ban this technique because they consider it um, very similar to fishing with cut bait or live bait. You're just casting it out, letting it sit there, not really having to do anything. So if you are fishing an artificial only tournament, this might not be the best technique to go with. Check your rules and see if you are allowed to do it or not. Now, as I mentioned before, this is most effective when casting to the edge of a grass flat or casting it into a pothole and just letting it sit there. Now, the way I have it rigged up is just the way I have it rigged up when I am actually retrieving the lure. No difference. I have it on an owner twist lock hook, the 3 aught 1 16th ounce weight, and it's the 5 inch gulp jerk shad in the watermelon color. Now, pretty much any gulp bait will work, the gulp shrimp, but I like to use this just because it's mostly the lure that I'm using when I am casting it and work in the lure. So if the bite's slow, it's a very effective presentation. And if you know the fish are there, this is definitely a good technique to use because if the fish are there, they're gonna pick up on it. They may not pick up on a lure that you're retrieving. They may be very lazy, very lethargic, or they're just not biting too much. So if they're not hitting the lure when you're retrieving it, but you know the fish are there, cast one of these out, let it sit there into a pothole or the edge of the flat and see if those fish will pick it up. Now this dead sticking technique is also very effective when fishing schools of redfish or schools of black drum. Just cast it out in front of them. You wanna see which direction they're heading. Make sure you get a good cast out in front of them at least 10 to 15 feet so you don't spook the school. And just let the lure sit there. When they get closer to it, don't move it. Just let it sit there. They'll pick up on the scent. And as the fish run it over, they're gonna bump it around. As they hit the line, they're gonna bump the lure around and that'll draw the attention of the other fish in the school. So just let it sit there and a fish will eventually pick it up. Now I was out on the water a couple weeks ago and I was working a topwater lure. I had actually cast out the gulp jerk shad and I was retrieving it. I had a long cast. Then I saw some trout hitting some mullet. So I decided to just put the rod down. Didn't even do anything with it, set it down. And I started retrieving the topwater. Next thing I knew, the rod with the gulp jerk shad on it bent over and I had a fish on. So I actually had that footage, let's take a look.
So as you can see, I didn't have to do anything. The rod was just sitting there, had two hits back to back, casted it out, let it sit. Within five minutes, a fish picked it up, casted it out again, let it sit. Within five minutes, another fish picked it up. So very effective technique. The bait's just dead in the water. The fish pick up on the scent and strike the lure. So that will wrap up this video on the dead sticking technique for inshore fish using these soft plastics. Now, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, if you haven't done so already, go check out our Salt Strong Insider membership at www.saltstrong.com forward slash insider. What you get are very detailed fishing reports, and most importantly, we really hit on the trends, what these fish are doing certain times of the year, and where to locate them, and what they're biting on. So definitely worth checking out. These trends can be applied from state to state, not just Florida. So definitely check that out. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.